So to kick off 2018, the Huffington Post listed 29 things uh, that we need to care about in 2018. Yeah. So they said it ranged from the people of Puerto Rico to having difficult conversations with people you may disagree with. What do you think people need to keep their eye on? Well, today, I will tell you that these protests going on in Iran yeah. are really important. There's very little that, you know, we can do as citizens, but it's very important to express solidarity with what's going on there. It's awe-inspiring. This is an autocratic regime. They are cruel. They've opened fire on these protests. There's now dozens of dead. You've seen the most <coughs> inspiring visuals come out of there. Things like women standing up and refusing right. to wear the veil. Yeah. Just, you know, protesting and you cannot stifle freedom for that long. Yeah. At some point, yeah. hope will come back up. Springs and so charm. we've got to keep an eye on it. Yeah. Iran protests, hashtag. Of course, yeah. of course they, told, they told Donald Trump to stay out of it and not to tweet. Of course he did, because telling him not to tweet is like telling a, a, a five-year-old not to eat the candy. <laughs> he can't help himself. He had to stick his two cents in it. You know, talking about what, I mean, just mind your own, stay where you are in Mar-a-Lago, keep playing golf. I actually think it's important for the President of the United yeah. States, and not just him. Oh, you know, I think President Obama, I think President Bush not should him. all express solidarity. What I didn't like him doing was turning this political by taking a shot at Obama and the Iran deal. There's a time and a place for that. Yeah. Right now is the time and why place to express solidarity. Why do you think he has to come? Why does he really always have the to Iran run deal, The Iran Obama, deal the gave more deal. money to terrorism and nuclearize the Middle East. It's the main, of all the things President Obama did the I disagree with that was number one and I actually think it's fine for the press. I'm much more comfortable with the president treating, uh, tweeting about what's going on in Iran than, than Mika Brzezinski's alleged facelift quite frankly well, so we better. need to yeah. dictate what we want him to tweet about because again when you're talking about international incidents like this which are of extreme historical significance right now I think it's 100% totally wrong. I thought fine. it was the well, Saudis who were really protecting terrorists 9-11 came from there those terrorists came from Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. he's in bed with Saudi the Saudis all the time so, yeah, I mean, well, but listen, to, to me right now, we really have to ban, like, keep our focus on, on Iran because if somehow they're able to, uh, you know, get themselves free from these chains that bind them from this autocratic regime, it would be a huge game changer the in world the over. And I think that's true in this country also. But we can get away right. from him. What's, what's important all... <laughs> well, what's, I, I think what's, what's been striking to me, and I don't, we don't have the video, but of the woman... Uh, standing in, in the public square taking off her hijab, which is truly yeah. a statement because what's supposed to be empowering about for Muslim women about wearing the hijab is your decision to do it or not. Mm -hmm. That's a very personal decision by Choice. most m Muslim women. And mm -hmm. in the United States, you have the decision to do that. In Iran, you exactly. must wear the yeah. hijab. Also, and so I think it's... It, and they talked about the Me Too movement. What was so interesting is the movement that you've seen here across the United States by women. Yeah. The women in Iran are saying, I want my freedom too, and I just think that is so powerful. Mm -hmm. So powerful. Mm -hmm. really, I just think having any kind of conversation about moral relativism in a country where mm -hmm. we couldn't be sitting here without our heads covered, where gay people are literally, literally murdered and stoned to death in the same streets, and comparing it somehow to what's going on in the United States of America, for me, when we have these conversations somehow comparing the United States to Iran, that's where I, I end conversations and where I just leave because We're I not think it's ridiculous. It. It's but you just like said we need to rise up against like, Trump in the on. same way like Ayatollah Khomeini is somehow morally relative to President Trump. I think that's right. It's not apples and apples. It's not equal. Mm -hmm. But we're on a very slippery slope, slope in this country toward throwing democracy out the window and every the single day. We have to defend the freedom of the press and civil rights here. Mm -hmm. We do, but and, we're not being you know, stoned in the street for being gay. Not yet. Not yet. They're completely... Not yet. They're, not yet. they're, they're, they're different it? things. I agree with you. I, I, you know, uh, I, don't, I think the Ayatollah is in a completely different uh, league. Mm -hmm. That being said, that doesn't mean that we don't stand up for our own rights, right? In it's a own... relative thing. Thank it's you. not the same thing. It's something else we have other th reasons to protest in the streets in this country and not the same as the hijab and not the same as what the, the kind of thing we're talking about in Saudi Arabia and Iran but we definitely have things to stand up against in this country right now yeah. and I think and it's it's sort of important I think it's important to note that what is going on in Iran, one of the bases is people are protesting that they don't have the economic freedom that they need, that there's been a rise in cost for basic necessities, and 20 protesters have already been killed by the government. And so their right yeah. to protest is under attack. And that's the one thing that Trump did that I thought, well, if he, he weighed in 
about the protesters in support of the protesters. And well, that I, was nice. I thought that, that was that was sense. nice of her. That was I wish okay. she would also give that when people are protesting here. January so 20th. Yeah. January 20th. You know, there's a women's supportive. march in New York City. Let's see what he says about the protesters in New York on January 20th. Right. Yeah.